हेलो डॉक्टर्स वेलकम बैक टू जब स्टडीज मेट वन एम डॉक्टर ऐश्वर्या मोकल एंड दिस इज आर वीडियो फॉर मस्टल इमेजेस ऑफ साइकेट्री वेरी फ्यू इमेजेस वी हैव टू गो थ्रू बट दिज आर मोस्ट लाइकली आस्ट इन द एग्जाम फॉर साइकेट्री सो फर्स्ट वन विल सी इज द बेंडर जिस्टॉल टेस्ट द बेंडर जिस्टॉल टेस्ट दैट इज अ बी जी टेस्ट इज अ मोस्ट कॉमन टेस्ट टू स्क्रीन ऑर्गेनिक मेंटल डिसऑर्डर्स एंड द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस टेस्ट इज आस्किंग द patients should draw these figures so uh, there are like this hexagons and dotted structures curvy structures circles triangles over here circles and squares so this is a bender just short list it will come just for the identification purpose if it comes to the exam bipolar versus a uh, unipolar versus bipolar disorder so what happens is they will they can give this graph or they can give you, they can just ask you to identify or they can just ask you to characterize the kind of disorder is uh, it is so in a unipolar disorder what happens is it only includes uh, depressed mood over a period of time however in bipolar disorder there is a combination of mania hypomania plus depressed mood over time so these two are the major uh, differences the first one over here is bipolar disorder you can see that the wave is going up as well as down that denotes your uh, denotes that the uh, mood of the patient so the above the baseline is mania and below is the depressed mood above is mania below is depressed mood however in unipolar there is only one kind of mood and that is depressed mood bipolar 1 versus bipolar 2 so bipolar 1 and bipolar 2 are sort of like uh, different uh, types of bipolar disorders of course but what happens in bipolar 1 is the amount of time that the mania is present is almost equal to the amount of time that the depressed mood is present however in bipolar 2 more amount of depressed mood will be present than the mania mania will be for a shorter period of time but the prolonged dep depressed mood will be present in the patient trichobezoar this import this Im image is very very important for the exam very 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 important almost always asked so trichobezoar is what you see here is that there it is a bizarre that is it is a formation of uh, foreign materials that is getting ingested into the body so it form it forms a bizarre and it will be impacted at some point in your gut so this is a stomach shaped bizarre so it is seen in a patient with trichotillomania trichotillomania is a compulsive disorder in which patient compulsively pulls their hair and ingests it forming a bizarre in the stomach patient presents with abdominal pain and associated symptoms on diagnosis of trichobezoar patient it uh, surgery will be scheduled and referred to the psychiatric department or psychiatric treatment continued if already on treatment so what happens is the patient uh, goes in a compulsive state when they pluck their hair and they'll start ingesting it that will give them a sense of satisfaction but what happens over time is the ingested hair will not get digested and they will just form a bizarre like a mass inside the stomach and which needs to be operated upon which needs to be extracted from the body another one is they can show you some similar kind of images over here which shows bruising on the knuckles so they will ask you in what disorder is this or what is the patient profile so this is seen in bulimia nervosa what happens in bulimia nervosa is it is an eating disorder where patient impulsively eats a lot of food then tries to self induce vomiting or takes laxatives to get rid of the ingested food if a patient cannot get hands or do, does not have the knowledge of laxatives what they will do is they will put the fingers in the mouth and they will inject uh, they will just induce vomiting so what happens is the teeth the upper teeth will bruise the knuckles so if a patient walks in and tells you uh, tells to the psychiatrist that they are having some food problems or something like that or if the psychiatrist himself sees that there is a bruising on the knuckles they will ask them about the particular kind of food habits they have so that is a very characteristic feature in bulimia nervosa the next image is of a rorschach test rorschach test it is this ink blot test we all know what this is the psychiatrist will show a different sorts of images to the patient and the way they answer or the way they create story uh, create an explanation about the image the ink blot test the ink blot image they will 
uh, the psychiatrist will determine the kind of mood the patient is in or they will use it in cognitive behavioral therapy there are different different ways you can use a ross charge test for the exam it will only come for identification purpose the next image is of a tat that is th uh, thematic a perception test in which a patient is asked to write the story based on the picture the patient will be shown a similar picture where humans are depicting some kind of emotion or there is a some kind of scene going on and the uh, patient will be asked to create a story right what comes in your mind when you see this picture next one is cat that is child children a perception test which is pretty similar to tat animals are the characters in the picture and the child is asked to write a story based on the picture so in this even the people are replaced by animals and the child will be shown uh, child will be told to write a story or recite a story like what do you think is what is happening in this particular image so the child might tell that the uh, mother dog is hitting the younger dog for some reason or something like that so why the animals are incorporated is is because children find it funny or children find it attractive like animals attractive or they will find it very uh, cartoonish sort of a thing to keep them interested that is why there is a difference between the thematic perception test and the children perception test so these many images are uh, very important for the psychiatry part of the exam thank you so much